Helping the environment while also getting lower energy bills can be a win-win situation. But often people find it difficult to know where to start. So what if we could upscale our actions by joining with our neighbours? The growth of community energy networks has taken off in recent years, encouraging groups of neighbours to tackle their carbon emissions together. There's currently over 300 around the country, and the target under the 2019 Climate Action Plan is to have 1,500 set up by 2030. I'm here in Dunlear in County Louth, one of the early groups to join the Sustainable Energy Community Network to see how the community here have come together to make their homes and shared spaces more sustainable. Since 2016, the community group in Dunlear have retrofitted about 230 homes across Louth and Meath. Eugene Conlon is one of the key coordinators of the scheme here in Dunlear. What kind of savings have been made in terms of money and carbon emissions? The homeowner will get anything between 35% and 80% grant towards the cost of the retrofit. So there's a significant savings there for the homeowner. We brought together 17 people last year and we asked them to bring in their fuel bills. There was anything between four and 750 euro per year being saved. So there's a distinct benefit. Now the other benefit is this, we are actually helping to have my home warm, but also we're having an impact on the global challenges around climate change. The kinds of retrofitting that the Dunlear community group carried out included wall and attic insulation, solar panels, and even replacing old oil boilers with heat pumps. Paul Corrigan is one of the homeowners who benefited from the grants to retrofit his home, which included a new heat pump. Hey Paul, hey Claire, nice to meet you. So Paul, tell us about what you've had done. Well, we had the heat pump put in there about a year ago. It's, it was a life saver to us mm. because we're not getting any younger uh, and it's good for the environment and like uh, our grandchildren is coming along. So eventually one of them will have this and there you go. <laughs> You've given them a, an energy efficient an home. An energy efficient <laughs> home, is correct, yeah. The community are currently in the process of applying to the SEAI for a new batch of works. And this involves local stakeholders coming together to discuss their needs. We're operating from the smallest county in the, in the country, and we're operating from a small town. Um, and if you think of the impact we have made, um, you just think how much more of an impact could be made if there were 200 Dunleers, 400 Dunleers, 1,500, you know, the impact, and, and that's the um, potential. It's hard not to feel the positivity in the room when you think about the community coming together and working together to actually achieve something. But one of the things I think that struck me the most is just how effective this actually is, that it's really helpful in terms of saving money, it's easy to do, it saves energy, it's environmentally friendly, and it makes houses more comfortable to actually live in. So it just seems to be ticking an awful lot of boxes for, for one scheme. Uh, so a remarkably positive experience just chatting to people here today. As well as retrofitting homes, the Dunlear Group have also collaborated on work here to the local football pitch to make the lights more energy efficient, saving thousands of euros in electricity bills. And over the course of the scheme, the community group in Dunlear estimate that they have helped to save over 2,000 tonnes of CO2 from being dumped into the atmosphere.